What's going on, Lee Jim Beast and my fellow Go High Level Entrepreneurs? Matty Ice here from Leads for Locals. In this video, we're going to be setting up an SMS opt-in campaign, which is a really cool way for people to take advantage of a specific offer that you have, a lead magnet. Uh, it's really easy. They simply text a, a code or a phrase to your Go High Level phone number, and we can create some really awesome automations that send them the particular offer that we have, and uh, you know we get them opting into our funnels, get them into our pipeline, and we can follow up with them long term. Hopefully, they become a customer, a client, uh, maybe book appointments with this type of strategy, etc. So, I'm going to show you some really cool things you can do on the back end once you get people to uh, to actually text the the code to your number. So, we're going to set that part up first, but then do uh, some really cool stuff in the back end to make sure people are actually converting. So, make sure you stick to the end. I'm going to show you step by step how to put this in place. You could really do this for just about any business. You know, uh, the main thing is uh, you, you just you need to have an offer and an opt in page to send people to to claim that offer. And with that said, you don't necessarily have to have a funnel or opt in page for this. I just recommend it because we want to collect additional information. We want to send them to an appointment calendar or an order form afterwards, etc. For me, I just uh, I just I really like sending people to funnel pages versus just doing like chat bots and whatnot. Uh, chatbots absolutely have their place and you could create an SMS chatbot to uh, to move people forward in your pipeline. For me, I just prefer to send people to uh, my funnel pages. So that's what we're going to do in this particular video. But just keep this in mind. Uh, keep in mind, there's a couple uh, a few different ways that you could do this if you wanted to. But uh, for me, this is the easiest and fastest way to do it. So you do need to have uh, uh, some type of offer. So, you know, if your local business and maybe you do like a first time customer discount or coupon code or free trial of some sort. Maybe, you know, uh, you have a longer sales cycle. Uh, maybe you do business over the phone. And uh, so maybe you offer like a free webinar or training or checklist or guide, something like that, right? But you wanna have a, a good offer that's going to entice people to actually take advantage or to, to yeah, take, wanna take advantage of that offer. So in this in this example, I'm going to use a free business funding checklist that teaches people how to like the the main things that they need to know about getting funding for their business, right? So uh, if you're not familiar too familiar with Go High Level, they do have a funnel builder as well, so it gives you everything that you need for this. But uh, you want to have some type of opt-in page with a form that collects name, email, and phone number. Even though you're getting them uh, people to to text in, we still want to get all of the information on the opt-in page. So some type of opt-in page that you can send people to, you're going to want to grab that URL. All right. Uh, and if you guys want tutorials on how to use the funnel builder, again, check out my uh, Go High Level playlist in the description. Uh, lots of different, like really cool things you could do with Go High Level uh, in that playlist. But grab the URL for your opt-in page. And then what we're going to do is create a trigger link to, which is what we're going to send people as the response when they text the phrase to our Go High Level phone number. So we want to create a trigger link first because this is what's going to allow us to create some really cool follow-up automations in the uh, on the back end to make sure people actually take advantage of the offer. So we're going to create the trigger link first. You go to marketing, trigger links, and then links. Um, I already created mine, so uh, but you're just going to click on add link, give it a name, paste in the URL, click save. Literally all you have to do. As a quick side note, I actually prefer using custom values for this. I'm not gonna get into that in this video. You can check out my playlist down below on how to use custom values. But um, if, you have, if you're doing this for multiple different businesses and they're all gonna have a different URL, sometimes using custom values can save you a lot of time. So just keep that in mind. But if you're just doing this for your business, this will be just fine here. So we have our funding checklist trigger link. Now we're going to create the initial automation and response when people text the code to our Go High Level account. And there's no magic to coming up with a with a phrase that people can text, just keep it simple. Uh, so we'll go to create workflow, start from scratch, and I'm just gonna do checklist 101, or uh, actually no, I'll do uh, funding 101. Uh, so our lead magnet is the business funding checklist. I'll just do, uh, have people text funding 101 to XYZ number, and it's gonna trigger this workflow. So let's give it a name. We'll do SMS opt-in for funding checklist. All right. And the workflow trigger, we start typing in customer. The trigger is going to be customer replied. And we're going to add a couple of filters here. All right. Uh, you don't really have to do reply channel. I like to do it just to be safe, though. 
Uh, so the reply channel is going to be SMS, even though we're telling people to text this, you know, if they, if someone emails, you know, in your back and forth conversations, that exact phrase, we don't want this accidentally triggering. So just to cover your bases, I like to do reply channel as SMS. And then we're going to do contains phrase. You could do an exact phrase, but sometimes people don't always text it correctly. So for me, I'd rather, I'd rather uh, just keep it uh, a little bit uh, more broad. Or not broad, but just um, uh, allow for error, basically, is what we're doing here. So we're going to type in funding 101, and, and really any variation of this is going to trigger this workflow. All right, so we're going to save that trigger, and we're going to send an SMS back with instructions on how to get this checklist. And again, keep this simple, guys. So thanks for requesting our free business funding checklist simply click the link below to tell us where to send it that's it and you could go into a little bit of detail on you know what they're gonna get from the offer I uh, just just don't go too crazy with it uh, uh, but we're going to use, or we're going to click on trigger link here, and we're going to select the trigger link that we just created. And I like to uh, put my name and company name, uh, just as like a little signature on text as well, just for branding. And that's it. Uh, so we'll publish, save, and that's um, that. That's like the initial setup. I mean, you could do just just this, and I mean, you now have an SMS opt-in campaign at this point. Um, but what I'm going to show you next are, are some some more advanced follow-up automations to make sure that people are actually claiming the offer, opting into your funnel, and getting into your pipeline. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait. Uh, so we're going to add another action here. We're going to wait. Let's do a day. And also, uh, let's do advanced window. We're going to do it on each day. But this is where like we don't want to accidentally send text messages at like 3 o'clock in the morning. So make sure that you select the window here. So we can just do 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. That's fine. Uh, I'm on Eastern. So actually, yeah, so I'll do 11 a.m. for this because 9 a.m. here would be 6 a.m. Pacific time. Again, you want to keep these things in mind because we don't want to piss potential customers off. So uh, we'll just go ahead and do this. So 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. That's fine. Okay, now... What we'll do is uh, we're going to do a check, basically a condition here, an if else. So we're going to select this and we're going to, I think it's under, is it under events? Uh, give me one second here. All right, got it. So yeah, actually uh, for the wait step, we have to change it to uh, trigger link clicked. So let me, let me show you how I did that. So let's delete this. All right, so we're going to click on, uh, we're going to do wait again. And instead of time delay, we're going to do trigger link clicked. We're going to select our link. We're going to do a timeout of, uh, we'll do one day. So basically, uh, if they, if they uh, click on the checklist within a day from starting this workflow, it's just going to end everything here. But um, in the event that they don't click it, um, that's where we do the if else condition. Again, I'll start over there so you guys can see how to do this. All right, and we're gonna scroll down, click on if else, and right here, we're gonna do events, trigger link clicked is funding checklist. Okay, so now the system is checking, to, basically the system is checking to see if they click that link. And if not, right here, you can send a follow-up text message, maybe do a voice drop, all right? So maybe we just say something like, hello again, Uh, wanted to say thanks again for requesting the free business funding checklist. If you didn't, I'm not worried about, oh, come on, whatever, do it really quick. If you didn't get a chance to request it yet, here is the link one more time. Okay, trigger link, funding checklist, boom, good to go. So you can get really, I mean, you could you can make this workflow as long as you want, 
you know, you can start spreading it out over a couple of weeks, you know, a couple of days, a couple of weeks, a couple of months, whatever. Uh, but the idea is having multiple touch points to make sure that they get the offer that they requested. Now, obviously, too, what you're going to want to do is on the back end, when people fill out the form, like visit your funnel page, fill out the form to get the offer. You're going to want to make sure you tag them, put them in an opportunity stage, have additional follow up for that. That'll probably, that'll, that's way too much for this video. Um, I'll do that separately. But uh, I just wanted to show you guys how to get this in place, and then also how to add a little bit of follow-up as well uh, in case they don't click the link or they don't opt in uh, to actually get the offer uh, so they can continue to follow up with them. And you know, that's, a, that, that's another one that you could do here is like, let's say they haven't clicked the link, but, uh, or, or maybe they have clicked the link. Uh, I mean, you could really do this either way. What you could do at this point, so if they've clicked the link um, in this particular workflow, you could do another if else right here and you could check to see if they have the tag uh, that you put on their contact profile once they fill out the form on your opt-in page so when they visit the opt-in page they submit the form you have another automation that tags them uh, requested in this case free business funding checklist but you can have the system check to see if they have that tag or not and if they don't that means they clicked the trigger link but they did not opt in to get the offer. So we wanna send additional follow-up for that. So in this case, we'll do includes, uh, let's see, funding, yeah, business right here. So business funding checklist opt-in, okay? So if they have that tag, that means they opted in. I don't need to do any additional follow-up right here. But if they don't, again, that means they click the trigger link, but they didn't opt in. So in this column, uh, this branch, now I can send an additional text message to say, hey, you know, if you uh, here, here's the link again to claim the offer. Here's uh, maybe you go into a little bit more detail about what uh, what benefits they're going to get from it to try and entice them to actually opt in. But you're going to send them back to that trigger link, and uh, again, just to make sure that we're doing everything we can to actually convert the the traffic that we're generating here. So, anyways, uh, I hope that was helpful, guys. Uh, if you have any questions or anything you need clarification on, uh, just drop some comments and feedback down below. Uh, I'd love to help you out with it uh, any way that I can. Uh, either way, I hope you're crushing it. Hope this helps, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Maddie Ice is out. To your success.